Every type of animals. And happy Halloween, man. canceled so I'm just gonna do a couple of reviews I was gonna go go out and uh, and I'd watch these movies I wasn't gonna review them but I didn't have nothing else to do so I said man let me try and review you guys are probably already doing something or probably sorry the probably the next day after Halloween already but I figured hey let me put it out there so I watched the American Horror Stories the Halloween special it was like uh, was it four or five episodes American Horror Story is interesting to me because I, I really like, like the first season. I like the second season. It was okay. The Silent Mill is okay. The third season, I think, was the Witches one. I really liked that one. I liked that one a lot. Uh, it wasn't the greatest in acting, but it had, like, voodoo in it. And it had, like, just, uh, what the hell is her name? Kathy Bates. It, just, it was all over the place. It had, it was just a good episode. It was a good season. Um. And, and then I, I kind of like the clown one, or the freak one with the uh, the twins, the Siamese twins, that one was okay. And then um, I just saw this on the fluke, so I was just going to watch it. I wasn't going to do a review of it, but since it's Halloween, I said, okay, fuck it. Um, yeah, there's, I always do one to five on the um, episodes, you know, one to, um, one to ten on movies. But I, I'm a fan of anthology, so I was going to watch this even if I wasn't going to do a review of it. I just wanted to watch it. But yeah, the first episode is called Be Bestie. And uh, it's a story about a girl who lost her mother to cancer. She moves to a new town where she doesn't fit in. So, I mean, it's basically the same old story. We've seen it before. Um, I really relate to the main character because I'm a fat dude and I used to move a lot. So, uh, yeah, I remember having to move a lot, having to be the new guy. I went through all the little shit she had to go through. I'm not a chick, so you guys probably have different peer pressures. With dudes, it's a little bit different. You kind of just kind of find your tribe, and a couple dudes think you're cool, or everyone thinks you're not cool. It, with girls, you guys can kind of get by on certain different things, or if a dude does like you, or you guys can click up with different girl groups. With the guys, unless you're playing a sport or something, it's pretty much defined. You know, the jocks, the fucking the geeks, or the regular dudes, the dudes that were doing like drama and shit like that I mean <laughs> like they're trying to act and shit I don't know it's weird I don't miss them days that much but yeah so I really relate to the main character like I said I thought she was uh I thought she was pretty cool I felt bad for her dad because he was trying man it's like it's hard for anyone whenever there's, there's death in the family and I thought they played it pretty good on how they showed that I actually liked that part with her and her dad and they could have went into some horror with that with just her just rebelling and shit. She didn't really have to have her friend, but I felt like the friend kind of played like a mom role too, so I feel like they kind of played off that. But yeah, um, I love the prosthetics of the friend. Uh, I'm not going to tell you too much about her, but she does have a friend that's like the, the bad guy or the, the good guy or whatever you want to call it. Her friend, the partner in crime. And it's like, uh, I like the way she looks a little much. I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, the ending was kind of weak. I think that's kind of the problem with all these episodes, was that they all kind of started off good, and they all kind of like fluttered towards the end. I think because they had too much time. Where like, if you watch my other review of the VHS 85, they didn't have enough time. Where all these episodes, I feel like, could have lost 15 or 20 minutes, and they could have tightened it up a little bit. But I believe American Horror Story has commercials. I'm not sure how that works. It's on FX, so maybe 
they needed more time because of the commercials. I'm not sure how it works, but uh, I felt like some of these were a little too long because some of them just would would need to wrap up and it would just go a couple more minutes or it would add something else that wasn't needed. But yeah, the ending was kind of weak on that one. I gave it a three out of five, but I still felt like it was it had some good parts in it. So uh, the next one's called Daphne. This episode was interesting because it was like the technology episode. I feel like uh, like in Twilight Zone or in all horror movies, there's different types of horror. There's te technology horror, which I think is a little different than sci-fi. Sci-fi is like futuristic technology horror, I feel like. Technology horror is like things that are around you or feel like things in that time that can be used in, a ho in horror. I feel like there's family horror, like hereditary. There's ritualistic horror, like Midsommar. And then there's like slasher, and there's like uh, religious horror and shit. But uh, yeah, this is the technology horror, and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it says an art dealer is a week away from selling two million dollars worth of paintings, and um, a pandemic hits, and they do acknowledge COVID. So they're saying like this is another pandemic after that, which I thought was kind of interesting. Like if something comes again, which we already went through, so. Everyone in the episode kind of acknowledges that it happened, which I thought was kind of interesting. Because it's probably going to happen again if someone needs to get a vote or something. Um, I love the Black Mirror technology versus horror here. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, um, it reminded me of a Twilight Zone episode, and I love the Twilight Zone. I don't know if you guys know that. It's like I've seen all of them. Um, some of the Twilight Zones aren't that great, but for the most part, you got about 30 episodes, 40 episodes that are great on there, so I think it's 156 altogether. There's a bunch of good ones, but there's some great ones. But yeah, this one had a weak ending too. It's like I felt like uh, for how good I thought it was, they went with the ending that I was like, oh man. Uh, yeah, the ending was weak, so like all the other ones, I just thought that they could have wrapped it up a little bit better. I gave this one a 3 out of 5 also. Um, the next one is called Tapeworm. Uh, well, I like body horror, so no matter what, even if the sh story's weak, anything that makes me like squirm and ah, uh, and I jump around and ah, uh, and I, I want to close my eyes and I want to kind of like look like a little crack in the in the in the eyelids and shit. I usually like that. So uh, this one's about a young black girl. She leaves her small town with the hopes of being a supermodel. And even her small size, two body is too big. So you know how it is. These chicks think they're hella skinny. She goes there, and they just eat her up. You're too fat. You're this. You're that. She looks like she's fucking real thin to me, but I'm a fat dude. But it's like they tell her she's too fat, so she has to go to a doctor. And you already know it's called tapeworm. So I mean, I'm not gonna give away too much, but <laughs> but uh, it gets pretty crazy. Uh, I didn't like the actors that much in this one. Like I thought the, the black chick was okay. Her friend was decent. I thought the uh, the main lady was uh, the fashion lady was kind of cool. But for the most part, this one had probably the weak the weakest acting out of all of them. And uh, the ending was weak, but right before the ending was good. So it's like uh, it actually really was getting good for a second there, and then it just ended weak again. They all kind of end weak. I don't understand why these guys. You gotta really hit them with the beginning, and you gotta really slap them with the end. The end has to be, a, you gotta really hit them. But I feel like it's American Horror Story season four, or, you know, so it's already probably, they're just calling it in by now, is what it seems like. Because to start off so good, and then to end it so weak, it's like you just kind of said, fuck it. And the last thing, the last one, uh, I give that one three out of five. The last episode's called uh, Organ. It's about a playboy who loves to play. Um, with women on dating apps and you know just playing with their emotions and she's like a playboy um, except for he gets played by some women and some dudes aren't going to like this episode uh, it had more body horror in it and I like the body horror I wish they wouldn't have did two body horror um, episodes I feel like they could have did like a Something a little different. I, remember the list I just told you? They could have they hit some of the other ones instead of this, another body horror. But I'm not mad at it. Um, 
dude dude is a decent actor at first but then he falls the fuck off bro like i don't know what the hell happened to this dude like the first i don't know if they were shooting on the first day and then by the third or fourth day he was just like yeah whatever bro where's my paycheck like he just got cheesy even for the 80s but uh this one was halfway decent I'm gonna give that one a three out of five too. They're all they're all just eh. Still watch them if it's free, but if you have to pay money or something, eh, you can pass by on these. It's all three out of fives, really. Was there all three out of five? Three out of five. Three out of five. Yeah, it's like it's 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 decent. Watch VHS. <laughs> if you if you had to pick out of one of these, if you're happen to watch both these reviews, and you're watching, uh, and I have the American Horror Stories. Or the VHS, watch the VHS, bro. You'll have a way better time. This wasn't bad, but it was just eh. And the VHS was actually good. So, yeah, man. That's American Horror Stories, the Halloween special. Happy Halloween, you guys. I'll see you next time. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh, my God. Stop fucking lying.